Hi, welcome to DrSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about the PAP test. Uh, PAP is actually short for Papa Nicolo, which is the Greek physician who um, developed the test. And thanks to him, uh, thousands of women uh, worldwide every year are spared um, cervical cancer. And uh, obviously that's what the test is for, is to screen for cervical cancer. So to understand the test and uh, cervical cancer in a nutshell, uh, meet Paulette and she's waiting here in bed for her pap test. <clears throat> now the reason that I uh, drew her kind of youngish looking is because I want you to remember that uh, your first pap test should be at age 21 or three years after your first um, sexual encounter, uh, whichever comes first. Uh, that's the guidelines in my area. You should check with the family doctor wherever you live to find out what the guidelines are there. So anyway, here she is. And basically what's happening in the test is, to understand it, we have to know a little bit about um, anatomy. So everybody knows that the womb or uterus is on the inside, so somewhere up in the belly area, or just above the pubic bone. And that's connected to the vagina and the vagina then is connected to the outside world so that vaginal um, column at the end of it there's a little thing called the cervix which is like a little stump or portocullis it um, basically acts as a barrier between the vaginal world and the inner uh, uterine world and in the center of it there's a little path that's usually uh, filled with mucus to act as a barrier. So the issue occurs, so this, the, the, the uterus tends to be thick walled, so it's true like that. Um, so the problem occurs in intercourse. In addition to sperm and other icky fluids, um, if a male is infected with a virus called H. PV or human papilloma virus, some strains of that virus can reach the cervix and can set up a chronic inflammatory process inside that cervical lining. Over a, a time span, a year to several years, then that can cause eventually the area to become so irritable and so disordered that it turns into cervical cancer which can be fatal it can spread and it can um, kill so that's the reason that we're so interested in making sure that all females get regular pap tests because this is one of the few cancers that we can pick up early and get rid of it and uh, let you have a, a happy life so to actually get the sample from this cervi cervical area here to test for um, your doctor or nurse uses a speculum which looks like a, a large bird beak and inserts that into the vagina and then opens it so that spreads the, the, the vaginal walls open making it easy for us to visualize that uh, cervical stump at the end there. And then um, they'll insert uh, some sample gathering um, brushes and uh, scraper to get some samples of cells. And then those cells are smeared onto a typically a glass plate. So you got your smear on the glass plate there. And then we'll spray it with a fixative to keep it um, keep it preserved. And then this is then sent off to a pathologist to look at it under a microscope. So the pathologist then will observe it. And look at the how the how the cells are are fitting together and how their how their interrelations are how they're relating, and then they'll send back a report of what they found. So either the either the sample is going to look normal, or is they're going to tell you that the sample looks as though the cells look disordered. And then then we also grade the degree of disorder. So. It goes from basically mild, moderate to severe disorganization. And if the architecture is really disrupted, 
um, then they'll then they'll tell you that it's actually the earliest forms of cancer. If it's uh, mild or moderate um, in grade, then basically what what they suggest is basically for you to come back, have another uh, pap test done six months later to see if the inflammation settled back to normal. If it is, then you just go back on to annual paps. Uh, if the sample comes back showing that the cells are very abnormal or cancer in situ, uh, then what will happen is they'll send you to see a gynecologist, which is a specialist in the female area, and they do a, a procedure called a colposcopy, which is kind of like a, a super version of this test here. The gynecologist will actually look in with a, a kind of a magnifying uh, mic microscope at the cervical area and stain it with a chemical that shows him or her where the, the bad tissues are. And then they'll either use a chemical or heat to, to burn off the abnormal um, uh, areas and then repeat the paps every so often to, to make sure it hasn't returned. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the pap test in a nutshell. And I can't stress to you how important it is to show up for your pap test. Because, as I said earlier, this is one of the few cancers that we can pick up pretty early and decimate, and you can have a, a full, happy life. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay well.